Okay guys, welcome back and uh, thanks for taking the time to watch. So, I was flicking through a wee book earlier on that I have of some classic salmon flies and uh, for a friend, <coughs> sent him a few patterns and I'm going to tell you this one here, only I'm going to tie it in a more modern shrimp version of your leg, it's called the Kingfisher Shrimp. Now, the hook in the vase is a Partridge Patriot double in silver in size 8. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni 3881 red, however, just use whatever th thread that you like. It's just that I want a nice red head on it. Now, I'm going to bring my thread back about 3mm from the other hook. Run on about 4mm of thread, remove the waist tag. Now the tag at the back is going to be a, a oval gold tinsel in size 14. So, I'll take a length of this off. Now, the original pattern is a classic fly, the Kingfisher shrimp, just straighten this up and uh, but I'll explain as we go along. Now I'm just catching in my oval gold and then working this down until I'm sort of in line with the, the points of the hooks. Then I'm going to come around with four turns of the oval gold for the tag. The last turn, bring it up and in between the the two hooks, catch that in, come in and trim away the waist. Now the tail on the original, and you suppose you could put it on this if you wish, is a long, you want a long red game haggle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a long red golden pheasant breast feather. Now just locating the tip. Which I've done and check length here. So I want this to be roughly a length and a half of the hook for the tail. So three or four turns. Come in and fold back the tip. Don't let it go. Just keep a hold of it. Come in and trim that away. Now I like to bring my thread up to the the eye of the hook just to get me room to work. So that it's not in my way when I'm winding on the the tail. Now just bring it round and you just want one turn in front of the other. I'm gonna use up the full the full amount of the feather here. So it's nice and tight. Now keep a hold of it there, bring your thread back into position. Catch it in. Now the body's floss. So I want to try and keep the stem in underneath the shank. Just take your time. Do you want to be 10 salmon flies quick guys? You want them to last. Don't be rushing it. Then come in bring these favours around. Because you may have caught some when you've been waiting in the waiting in the haggle. Just have a wee check. Now, bring my thread back down, and on the way back down, I'm going to catch in a length of copper mailar. It's the mailar and copper and blue. I'm going to catch a length of that in underneath the shank. Just bring it round, and then work my thread back down. Try not to touch the hooks that point there. Now the rear body, uh, yellow, bright yellow floss. If you don't have unique floss you could use the, the bright yellow glue bright. Would work as well. So I'm just going to catch that in and then work our thread forward. And then we'll come around with our floss. Just an overlapping turn. Just want the body to be nice and bright. And we'll catch this in. And then we'll come in and trim away the waist. Then we'll come up with our copper mailar. Three turns on the body. 
gets this in. A couple of turns. Come in and trim away the waste. Now the mid hackle. You're looking at hot orange cock hackle. So just using this old cape here up. So just bear with me. Get a nice haggle. So just much like we did with the the tail. Just prefer prepare the feather with the tip. Offer this up to the hook. Come around with a couple of turns. Fold the tip of the haggle back. And for those <coughs> new people to the channel, by folding the tip of the haggle back, it just means now they can't pull out. You're locking the, the feather in. Now with shrimp flies, Irish shrimp flies, right or wrong, I always take three turns of the, the mid and the front haggle. Everybody has their own preferred method for dressing Irish shrimp fries. So I just stick the what I know or the way I was taught. Now I'm just gonna catch this in. A couple of tight turns. I'm gonna strip away the some of the remaining fibers on the stem of the haggle. And then work my thread forward yet again. I want to try and keep this as smooth as I can. And then we can break that away. Then I can come in and we can push these fibers back. A couple of turns. Way back down, we're going to catch in a rib, which is a oval gold tinsel. and work our thread down, tied up, not on to the mid haggle, just tied up against it. You want to go on to it, you'll just claim it up onto the haggle and you'll just create a, um, a lump. Mm -hmm. uh, next, you're looking at Clark Floss. This is just the Uni Floss and Wayne that I'm using. So, just pull that in, catch that in. And work our thread forward. And then we'll come up with our, our floss for the front body. Now this is where it sort of way becomes a modern or a variation of it because at the front here, the first haggle, you're looking at a light blue cock haggle followed by long crow which is going to a turn and a half of the long crow which goes over the the whole dressing and then kingfisher blue cheeks but we're just going to dress it a wee bit differently now catch that in as a rib trim away the gold gold go to a nice kingfisher blue cock haggle The stroke back the much like we did with the, the tail and the the mid haggle you're just looking to create that a tang in point if you like a couple of turns fold back the tip and then we'll come in and break away the tip I'll just take my scissors just run it up the the stem of the haggle. Much like the mid haggle. Three turns. Now if you like it sparse, dress this sparse. You just dress it the way you like. How many want to try and show you is the, the dressings. Not everybody has the means to buy books and all the fishing literature that is out there. Now, just going to convert the face, 
trim away the stem come in and just yet again just fold everything back a couple of turns up over the top now the throat I'm going to put a wee throat on of some natural guinea fowl so bring those out line the tips up give it a wee spin and I want these to be fairly long coming into the the mid haggle anyway pinch and loop a couple of tight turns now I want to spread them out so what I do bring it round so you can see it it's in the middle just fan it out with your your thumbnail to spread the fibres and then we'll come in and trim away the, the waste of the gleaner and then we'll just tidy up a couple of turns up over the top now to finish off two jungle cock eyes now jungle cock is in the original pattern as well like most of the classics not all of them but most of them so I'm just going to get these lined up just bring back the yeah, rubbish it's on the feather offer them up to the hook in the length that you want them and then just come in hold them on the hook around with three or four turns and this is just to see what way you're sitting so just going to have a wee check now this one here is just a wee bit too long so I'm going to pull that in the length just have a wee check make sure everything's sitting good before you tack these in permanently or else you'll be fuming if they're not straight <laughs> now what I do is just hold take another two or three turns down to the, the eye of the hook come in fold everything back and work the thread back up now it's much like the hackles that this just means that they can't pull out the jungle cock will have to break off and if you get into that habit your flies do last a lot longer now I'm just going to come in and throw in a whip finish just tidy the head up here at the front just put the nice red head on the fly <coughs> put our thread tight come in and trim away our tank thread now that's a weak fly that I think would work all year round but I think it'll work for the grilts more to be honest now just the first coat onto the head just a tiny amount of super glue now, you don't want to be going nuts with this stuff because you don't want to get it into your, your dressing but it does just help to seal the, the thread turns up and then I just come in and sort of way clean everything off just square it off because it will have a tendency to run so there you go guys that's the well my take if you like on the kingfisher shrimp so if you want to tie the original i'll just give you the dress and uh, it's a the tag is a flat gold the tail hackle is a long red game the rear body is yellow floss followed by the the copper tinsel the center hackle is an orange hackle then the body your clarred floss roval gold and then basically the front so you want your kingfisher blue haggle on first followed by a long crow haggle and when i say a long crow haggle because I've, I've tied the original before you only want to turn on half you don't want to use up the full feather it'll be distressed too much for you and then the two cheeks two wee uh, small kingfisher blue cheeks followed by the jungle cock you can either put the jungle cock on before the crew or after that but that's up to you as always guys many thanks for taking the time to view the video 
It's greatly appreciated. As always, if this is a first time watching one of my videos, please consider subscribing. It just helps the wee channel grow. And until the next time, enjoy your fishing, take care of each other, and all being well. I'll catch us on the next one. Bye.